you have other preparers in your tax office, getting their preparer account set up is a breeze. You will need some information from the preparer during the setup, so it's best to do it when they're available. To get started, access the configuration menu, then select preparer setup. Your own preparer account will already be listed in the preparer menu. This was created when you set up your ProWeb office. When you're ready to add another preparer account, select Add Preparer to begin the setup process. First, you'll need to add the preparer's personal information. This includes their social security number, name, and PTIN. If the preparer doesn't have a PTIN, be sure to check the Data Entry Only box. The default PIN number can be any five digits they want and it'll serve as their signature on the Form 8879. If the preparer has a Form 2848 CAF number for power of attorney, enter that as well. The Office Contact option can be checked if this preparer is your partner for the tax office. If the preparer is just an employee, you'll likely leave that unchecked. For any preparers who are self-employed and not employed by you in the tax office, be sure to check the self-employed option for them. In the case that you're creating this account for a beginner preparer, you can restrict their account a little from the setup menu. By checking Can View Own Returns Only, you prevent that preparer from seeing other returns in the tax office. Additionally, by requiring the preparer to use a guide, they will navigate the program through a questionnaire system. This feature prevents the beginner preparer from accessing the forms directly and instead will allow the program to suggest the correct forms based on how the interview questions are answered. Any preparer who completes the New York or Oregon returns will need to add their New York PRIN or their Oregon license number. These are required to e-file those state returns. Next, you'll add the preparer agent information. The Preparer Agent section is only for preparers who have a formal agreement with the IRS that allows them to validate information on a W-7 application. If the preparer you're adding does not have an agreement like that with the IRS, skip this part completely. Lastly, you'll set up the login information for your new preparer. Please make sure that you're using the preparer's email address and the preparer's cell phone number. They'll need access to both to successfully log in to their account. If you choose a username that's not available, we suggest just making a slight change to it and trying again. With the password, make sure to include one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one special character. If you need the preparer account to have restrictions, just be sure to complete the roles and permissions menu before giving the preparer this login information. If you'd like to learn more about the roles and permissions, check out our roles and permissions video. When you're finished filling out the information, you can click continue to save the prepare.